There's also many head coaching vacancies. You've been covering that a lot. Which spot, which landing place is the most intriguing to you? Denver. Yep. Denver is the most intriguing because, you know, Nathaniel Hackett goes to Denver. Does that entice Aaron Rodgers? Say, okay, look, you guys just trade me here. Let me try to redo what Peyton Manning did. Be a great win a Super Bowl for one franchise. Try to go win another one. Plus, you get me out of the NFC. Um, I, th- I think Denver, because of what I just said, and they're going through an ownership change. You know, they're, they're getting ready to have a new owner there in the next couple of weeks. So that's going to be an interesting scenario. Um, just, just talking to some people, you know, because we, th- we think some of the shoes are going to start dropping this week. Mm. And so, you know, what's going to happen in Minnesota um, with their GM and head coach? And are they, would they go ahead and bite the bullet on that $40 million cap hit they could take if they cut Kirk Cousins or move Kirk Cousins? Or are they going to? keep him around but I also think the Raiders is very intriguing I, you know I, I'll say you know other than Denver the Raiders might be the most intriguing to me because we saw them make the playoffs this year were they playing on emotional energy like the Angels in the outfield or do they have kind of the nucleus that can make this you know a long-term play mm-hmm. and Mark Davis has already fired GM Mike Mayock what's he going to do there if he goes after a Jim Harbaugh or someone like that are they going to give this coach all-encompassing power or do they see what just happened with John Gruden and say, well, it actually was working, but he got caught up in some other stuff, or maybe we want to have a different division of power. Mm-hmm. So a lot of big things there just on the entire power structure for a franchise, which I think has tremendous growth opportunities on and off the field in Las Vegas um, to see who the point man there is going to be. If they're going to move on from Derek Carr, which again, I think is a crazy idea. Um, and what they can do with, I think, is a pretty, pretty solid roster moving forward. 